The National Council of Provinces has asked the Office of the Public Protector to investigate allegations of corruption and maladministration at the Nizana municipality in the Southern Cape. Whistleblowers of corruption have been trying to expose the allegations for the past five years now. The Provincial Office of the Public Protector and the Western Cape Government delayed this investigation until the NCOP resolved this week to escalate the matter to the National Office of the Public Protector. Let's take a look at what happened. It's a complex web of allegations. Whistleblowers are alleging corruption, but the municipality and implicated business people are countering with a civil lawsuit and are accusing the whistleblowers of being sour losers in a tender. Mike Hampton, an activist in Nisna, first laid a complaint in 2013. He alleged the then municipal manager Grant Easton was appointed irregularly and did not score the highest in the interview. This is an allegation disputed by the municipality. In the second complaint, Hampton also alleges that the municipality's integrated spatial development framework tender was awarded irregularly. Again, the municipality denies the winning bidder, Nisner Creative Heads, did not score the highest in the evaluation. I'm ecstatic that government has finally acknowledged how severe the corruption is that's happening in Neisner and uh, the fact that uh, there is the, the possibility, I know it's a definite, but the possibility that it also is linked to the national leadership of the Democratic Alliance. So I'm very happy a decision has been made. I am disappointed in that I think the, presidential, uh, the president's investigative team should come in. Uh, after all, we are also questioning why the public protector has failed to do their job in the Western Cape. The provincial public protector investigated both claims but closed the cases. The NCOP has now resolved to reopen the investigation. Alleged criminal funding of Nisner tourism with taxpayers' money. And another one alleged an awarding of a tender. Uh, integrated strategic uh, development framework tender of the municipality to a nice creative heads. Uh, that heads is a consortium which had not scored the highest uh, points during the, the tender uh, processes. Evidence put forward by the municipality shows that any cancellation of the ISDF tender would cost 5 million rand, while the complainant says the winning bidder was given a prepayment of just under a half a billion rand without doing any work. The whistleblower says the then municipal manager eventually resigned when he was due to face a disciplinary hearing. He, however, allegedly pocketed 250,000 rand in bonuses. The DA's NCOP chief whip, Kathy Labuskakni, could not immediately comment on why the Western Cape opposed the petition committee report. Ulilani Philip, SABC News, Parliament.